Today, I want to explain the idea of very hidden sheets. Let's say you have a very simple equation like 6 and 4 and 6 minus 4, and then you have a second sheet that links back to the first sheet. You can imagine a scenario where maybe you would like to see the first sheet and not see the second sheet, or vice versa. Let's say I want to hide, hide sheet 1, but I still want to see the output on sheet 2. What most people would do is they take sheet 1, they'd right click on sheet 1, they'd hide the worksheet, make it disappear, and now you can see what's on sheet 2. The problem is, of course, if you do this and you save it this way and you send it to someone, someone else could come back, right click this, unhide, unhide sheet 1, there it is, and then they could change this to 7 and 5 or 7 and 4, and then of course that's a 3 and that forwards on to here and then it's a 3 and well there you go. Now the question is then how do I make the first sheet disappear so you can see the information on sheet 2 but you don't see how it was calculated on sheet 1. Well hiding and unhiding I could do that but then someone could unhide it. If I want to make a sheet very hidden I go to view code it pops up the Visual Basic Editor. I could either do this by right-clicking on a tab and choosing View Code, or alternately, I could get to that screen by going to the Developer tab and choosing Visual Basic. If you don't have the Developer tab, it's turned off by default. If you want to turn on the Developer tab, you would have to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you could turn the tab on. But whether or not you get there by going to Developer and clicking Visual Basic or right clicking down here under a sheet, the point is you get to the Visual Basic Editor. Back here it says there's something called a VBA project and this project has a number of objects and in the objects we have a number of sheets. Now of course most normal people would just say workbooks and worksheets but in Excel language we like to talk about these things as Excel objects. If you're not used to using that kind of verbiage to explain this, don't worry about it. Anyway, I go to Sheet 1, which is both named Sheet 1 and is Sheet 1 as in the first sheet in the workbook. Down here we have some properties. If I look at the properties of Sheet 1, all the way at the bottom, it says that it's visible. And under visibility, I have a few options. I have visible, hidden, and my favorite, very hidden. If I choose very hidden, and I close the Visual Basic Editor, Sheet 1 has now entirely disappeared. I cannot unhide it. If I go to the cell in question where it was feeding into, I could, of course, draw some arrows by trace precedence. It shows here that it's coming from Sheet 1 E11. If I double click on this to bring up the Go To screen and I say let's try going there, it doesn't do anything. In other words, once you've made a sheet very hidden, there's no way to get to it, but whatever it's calculating and feeding into other worksheets, it'll still work properly. So now we have a sheet that's very hidden. Now if someone wanted to unhide it, you can't just go here and unhide it. The sheet is now, again, quote, very hidden. If you want to get there, you go to View Code. You find the object in question. You go to the visibility. You change it back to visible or hidden. And there she is, Sheet 1. The sheet is now visible. If I had made it just plain old hidden, I could have unhidden it by, again, right-clicking down here and choosing unhide. That is how you make sheets very hidden. If you want to make worksheets disappear and make it hard for people to get access to them, uh, this is one way of doing it. Uh, Excel is filled with thousands of little tricks, and this is the very hidden worksheet trick. Uh, speaking personally, I've had too many cases where people use very hidden sheets to try to make information disappear. Realize that anyone who knows their way around Excel can get back to this. So if you have data and you want to make it actually really disappear, you need to get rid of it. If you start putting it on very hidden sheets, it's just a matter of time before me or someone like me finds the data 
Uh, again, if you don't want people to see it, just make it go away. But if you're trying to clean up your model, maybe you find very hidden sheets to be useful. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Be well. And if you have any other questions, feel free to check out my website uh, dedicated to real estate financial modeling, kahrrealestate.com. That's carrealestate.com. Thanks again.